I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for July, Scorpio. Now, this for this month, it's really a time of transition for you, and you want to use the energy to keep control of your life, but don't hold on so tightly that you don't allow anything else to come through. So it's a real um, act of faith in one way, just to be able to walk the tight road and be able to let go, to let life um, you know, come to you and be able to embrace what the universe has in store for you, but also have enough control that you're like steering your boat, you're the rudder of your boat. So keep that in mind this month, Scorpio, to, um, you know, don't hold on too tightly, I guess is really the message there. Now for your career and money, now the sun, which is our most powerful energy, is in your career zone, it moves in on the 23rd, okay, so you can start to see things starting, starting to come together. This is the start of your whole new next 12 month phase. Now Mercury, the planet of communication and commerce, is also in this area and it does go retrograde mid-month on the 15th. So if you've got any uh, negotiations happening or deals that are going on or um, documents or official documents that you need to sort of sign and get to put aside. It's better to do them before Mercury goes retrograde. Mercury retrograde is traditionally a period which is good to finalize um, what's already happening in your life, to tie up the loose ends and bring things to a close rather than start them off fresh, okay? So keep that in mind. Of course, look, if you need to sign a document in Mercury retrograde time, then don't worry about it. Um, you know, it's not like things are all going to go wrong, but they can be like, let's say, a little smoother outside of that time, all right? Now, love and romance. Make sure that there's no secrets, and I know that's a strange thing to say to a Scorpio because you really just love to have secrets, and you're very good at keeping secrets. Um, but right now, you don't want something to come out, and you know somebody close to you to be told through someone else. If there's even a chance that some gossip can, you know, go around and um, get in the wrong ears. And you want to step forward and be first to sort of clear the air and make sure that it comes from you. You have a chance over this period to make love permanent, all right? But you need to want it. It's almost like the um, options are there for you to step forward and make love permanent, but only if it feels right. And don't worry if it doesn't come to you, love doesn't come to you during this month. It just means that the timing is not right. There are certain periods in the year where astrologically love, the love energy or the love vibe is just that little bit stronger and Cupid fires its arrows. But you know, sometimes with your personal chart clicks in, you can have other things going on in your chart and it may simply be not the right time, okay? Now your lucky numbers for the month are 3, 13, 20 and 23 and I've put down your most dynamic day. It's July the 23rd and on this day um, the sun when it moves into your solar 10th house of career and business can give you some clear solutions and direction for you to move forward on. So, Good news. Have a great month, Scorpio. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.